Jerry the Predator asked me, where are you from? Uh, Jerry, I'm from Southern California, Orange County more specifically. Uh, it's about an hour south of LA. And for a lot of people, it is the best place in the world to possibly live. It is 70 to 90 degrees most of the year. Uh, everyone's kind of friendly, uh, very materialistic and you know, everybody's got the newest gadgets, the newest things. Everything's shiny and clean and new. <clears throat> um, but it just, uh, the beaches, you know, people love the beaches there. I lived about an hour from the beach and, or not an hour, I lived freaking half of an hour or less pretty much my entire life from the beach. And I usually go like once or twice a summer, you know? So I didn't really, it wasn't really my thing to go to the beach. Um... I don't know, it's just always the heat, you know, that constant 70 to 90 thing. That was crazy to me. That was no fun to me. I hated that shit. To a lot of people, that's a dream. And maybe, you know, I live in Washington now and it snowed for the first time in my entire life at my house the other day. And uh, I might get sick of that shit. I might be aching for California weather all over again sooner rather than later. But for now... This is like amazing. It's like I'll never trade it because to like if you have the option to put on more clothes because it's cold, I think that, that is so much better and more convenient than when you go outside and it's so freaking hot. There's nothing you can't take off any more clothes and still be acceptable in nature or not in nature, but in civilization. Um I even, you know, if you're wearing shorts and a short sleeve shirt, sometimes you could be sweating bullets. I sweat really easily, so it was just hell for me. I didn't like it. And, you know, like I said, the whole materialistic, new, shiny thing is just not really my thing. I'd much rather be in, be in an area where people aren't so wrapped up in that. And, I, you know, I don't mean to slam Orange County or Southern California or anything like that. You know, plenty of people would love to live there, like I said. And more power to them. It's People tell me like, oh man, I wish I could have lived in Southern California. I'm like, fucking have it. I'll take this nine times out of ten times out of ten. So, again, I don't mean to bash it, but uh, I do miss the Mexican food. Mexican food was amazing. Uh, my, <laughs> my toilet doesn't miss the Mexican food. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, um... I don't miss it a whole lot. I wish that I could tell stories about it that are wrapped up in nostalgia and everything like that, but I just really don't have too many. Never really felt like I belonged there. From, like, age 7 or 8, I could ask my dad and figure it out, but from a very, very young age, I had always told everybody that I can't wait to move. It was Alaska when I was very, very young. And then I found out that Alaska is pretty much uninhabitable, uninhabitable, um, except for the insane. So I picked somewhere quite a bit north, but not quite that far in Washington. And I just, I love it here. Um, that's where I'm from. And again, not aching to go back at all. Anyway, hope you stay pushy wherever you are.